Beats by Beats. Bit by bit, yes. we have legendary superstar uh, in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for uh, the very proper one of Bayosa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Simaya, it's great to have you here. I, I saw him downstairs right now. I was like, he's the drip god. You've been looking at this picture all day. He's What's the, the problem? You well, know, are I've you addicted been, to Kamuto? I've been waist training, so who's, I'm trying to. There was a there oh, was that's a me. But, no, that's us. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a woman yeah. that had a very snatched waist. Now I've been waist training for the past couple of weeks, so oh, I'm wow. hoping that. So you're not working out, just snatching. You know what? I need you to mind your own business. That's <laughs> what I need you to do. I need you to just, yeah, let's press our phone. Says, um, I'm, just, I'm just wearing this for like 10 hours. No, it's like, not going to work. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Okay, We've been so telling her. To, I'm dieting. Guys, don't worry. Watch out. Okay. Okay. Just, just work out. Yeah. No, but the waist training really adds an extra oomph, you know? Well, I've been seeing the say. changes. Okay. Oh. If you I've say so. It's okay. Changes. If you say only so. Only you can see. Bye, bye, belly. Only you can see. Don't worry. For now. Summer. For now. Summer 2024, we yeah. have five. You know, it's, it's great to have you here. It's always good to have you I every time you. Uh, yeah anytime i have a conversation with you one thing i like you is that uh, would like you for is you're we're one of the very you know straightforward and honest, honest. you know natural artists and you just say it as it is which is you know fantastic oh, uh, i don't know if you were in the country when he um tomorrow went ahead he's we're in abuja and you know tomorrow got on stage and you know i want to thank everybody and blah blah so he's dating the popular and normal actress at the same time then he holds his head and i was like hey to my girlfriend and he puts it on his i was just like this guy <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot it's a lot more than 15 years. There about. Yeah. I was just like, this guy. <laughs> and, he just, and, and, you know, I think he just says it as it is, though. So, yeah. Well, it was, it was for, for, for myself and her, too. So, at that yeah. point. At, at that, that point, point, yeah. 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 like Jay-Z. You know, Jay-Z, at the Grammys, is like, I tell the truth when I'm When I'm, I'm nervous. nervous. Yeah, so that's a great line. <laughs> so, <laughs> new song out, Day Your Day, which is fantastic. Uh, you know, jumping on the back of that, I saw I saw a video somewhere uh, where a group of guys from Portugal says that you stole their sound and everything. You know, that's, yeah, I, that's I still, say like she gives it. still made and did your day, make we day our day. Okay. <laughs> okay. And you know, actually, to be, to be honest, I get inspired by the things I see, mm-hmm. the people, my environment, yeah. the association and all that. So anytime I go to Potaka, I hear a sound. It's, um, it's, these are stuff that we grew up with. Yeah. You understand? It's like me singing, uh, uh, Parkwell. No, not even Parkwell. That's yeah. someone started. Yeah, okay. Like, singing some like, I will never follow you to that station. station. Yeah. You know, Nobody knows where it came from. Exactly. I know. Even the song I sang about, the, the, the same song I sing, mm-hmm. Rain, Rain, Go, go Away. away. Yeah. That means everybody. But don't come arrest me. Say, ah, you stole my childhood song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because, yeah, that everybody sang that Rain, Rain, Go Away. Yeah, go away exactly. Song, yeah. So it's just... It's a sense of entitlement sometimes, but it still goes with the promotion, though. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Day, day. Yeah. So off air, we were talking about how you're from PH City and, you know, the incredible talent that is to Sorry. Has come out of PH. Uh, you know, what? you're from Port Harcourt. Yeah. Why did I think he's from Bayosa? I'm born in Port Harcourt. Okay. Oh, yes. But from Fair Bayosa. Right. Okay, okay. I was okay. raised... I was born and raised in Puerto Rico, but you're from Bayosa. Yeah, right. Okay, it makes sense now. That's why I get yeah. the feeling. A very proper one of Bayosa. Funny yeah. enough, I never lived in Bayosa. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I grew like I grew up in Puerto Rico all my whole life. Oh, that plantain boy season yeah. and everything. No, all right. You know, the funny thing was, um, Timaya told me a story once. He says, sorry to call you off. He says, uh, when he blew up the first album, <laughs> that he, he used to stay like in one bedroom. He had a landlord. So they had like a one, one room. room. Yeah. yeah. Not a bedroom. <laughs> just one room. Uh, yeah. One room. So he said he had a landlord and they were like, a, I think it was like a fruit tree in their compound. Mm-hmm. So both of them would wait for the fruits to fall and they would rush for the fruits yeah. and everything. So when the fruits fell, and the, the landlord, landlord was, landlord was, was broke as hell. Uh, yeah. So he, <laughs> the landlord was eyeing the fruits. He was eyeing the fruits. So, like when both of them made a run for it, the lad was like, which kind of artist are you? Your song is blowing up in Lagos. Your food is blowing up in the track. They follow me, they go and drive food for, for compound here. Yeah. So my brother, I go give you quick notice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll not be telling you sorry, sir. sir. Yeah. So at the time when um, you know when all that happened for you, though, uh, looking at the trajectory where you, you literally your story was a case of you know the, your talent. Your talent was something that we've not even heard before. Uh, you know, and everything. It just came. It was a different sound, and it just blew up. So how was that trajectory for you? How did you feel at the time? I I didn't I didn't feel any type of way. But I was just trying to blow up. That's the main thing. <laughs> you know, and because. You know, I was a backup singer for Idris Abdul Karim. Oh, yeah. For oh. Th- yeah, for, oh, okay. for three years. Okay. So, yeah. So, I gathered what I learned from there and went back to Poharkov and put in the work there. Okay. So, I got to realize that, okay, with this knowledge that I have, 
I'm not promoting from Port Harcourt. I was promoting from Lagos. Okay. Mm. But I was living in Port Harcourt. Port yeah. Because to live in Lagos at that point was too expensive. Even to do a promotion. At the time. What? To get on the soft sales and, and call me on and all those yeah. people that time. City two, people. Two pages. Yeah. yeah. Sell, two pages. Was sell me 100K. Yes. I didn't have that kind of money. Wow. So I needed to go back and start from my foundation. You understand? So I sold my first album, went back to, like, went to Alaba, mm-hmm. pirated it inside at the Alaba. <laughs> you understand? Like, three yeah. songs, put my picture, then went back to Potakot again. So the people in Potakot were seeing me win from Lagos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you in Potakot. I'm in Potakot. So they started respecting me yeah. because of that. And okay. I'm sure that that's also why you have such a strong core fan base because it's that hustle and, you yeah, know, I that told a lot of, like, I, yo, I, I, at that point when I left, I told a lot of, even Bon, I told him, say, guy, you got to leave here. Mm. Because it's not like it's, it's, um, at some point, I think when you, when you grow up, blew up from a place, you got to get out of that place. Right. Yeah, why? Because, you know, even with American rappers, when they say when they blow from the hood or anything, you, you know, they always say you have to get out of the Because they're trying to get them in the hood. To, listen, let me tell you something. The yeah. dream is to get to Hollywood, yeah. mm. not to buy back the block. Okay. But why isn't it? And that's why the people, the rappers, you see, like Nipsey Hussle, he died in the block. Yeah. You don't, you don't, you can help people from afar. Yeah. A lot of envy and all that. I was, I was almost killed in Portugal after I blew up. So I'd be like, yo, man, too much envy. Mm-mm. You know, I know my childhood friends yeah. that were my guys mm-hmm. and they see me doing fine. They'll just think you're posing. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's better to just heal from far. Mm-hmm. Like, I love you, but I can love you from afar. I'm right. be day or day. <laughs> do you understand yeah so at some point you got to understand that you not everybody got to go to that next level with you i agree i yeah i agree i understand that and also when you look at you we had a lot of conversation as regards the grammys you know a lot of nigerians are hurt uh owing largely to the fact that i think um this one was different because it was it was like we're we're gonna get this one yeah. because whenever you know femi kuti or shion kuti got nominated we knew and yeah, there's a possibility, but yeah. But this was different because it was like our very own mm-hmm. superstars that we knew or anything. So there was a possibility that we we're going to win. Because we've been winning. Sorry? Because we've been winning. Yeah, 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 we, we have been winning. <laughs> yeah, we, ha- we have been winning. In the yeah. show's time, they've not been winning. Yeah, so no, we, yeah we've been winning. It was like, okay, yeah. they'll just nominate them and don't give them. Yeah, and don't give them. Yeah, yeah. but we've, yeah, you know, with Burner Boy, we've been winning. So, um, what's your take on, you know, people saying, yeah, the Grammys used, uh, you know, used Afro beats and it seems like we need to come back home and actually just grow. We don't um, need to come back home. Okay. So you don't believe that we need to recognize our own talent like, you know, home uh, and actually with like our own and maybe awards br- as opposed to looking for the recognition of yeah. the Grammys, which is our, our awards. Award. Even yeah. our oh, which credible awards, the hip hop award, hip yeah, TV awards. Yeah. So oh, would no. you? Would they're you not even think? credible too. Oh, yeah. Okay. How would you? Why would you say they're not credible? They are the worst. They're worse than Grammys. <laughs> <laughs> they're worse they than the, the Grammys. Worst? But why do you think so? Because they're not. It's facts. They're not. Okay, so you think if a, a homegrown award that is credible, people will gravitate towards it? When that one comes, yes. Okay, okay. You understand me? Yeah. But for now, whether you, whether, whether, whether you like it or not, Grammys is still Grammys. Yeah. yeah. It's like the apotheosis <laughs> of, Bro, you know, what are you talking music. about? Grammys is Grammys. You... He's taking off his glasses. He's about let to me, get... Let yeah. me tell you something. <laughs> He's getting real. Let me tell you something. I'm not... I'm not... Tell us. I'm not going back home. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to break, like, New boundaries. Right. Yeah. So we're not backing down because we go again. We're gonna win it again. Okay. Yeah. What are we backing down for? Yeah. It's just normal. It's like someone beating you. Yeah. You're gonna go back and beat him up. Yeah. But don't you feel like we're looking, we're seeking recognition where we really shouldn't be? Because what? think about it. There's the Latin Grammys, which is a whole different award ceremony, separate to the Grammys, dedicated to Latin America. There should be Afri- uh, African uh, African Grammys then, well, since you call Latin it, Grammys. Yeah. Somebody Actually, should start well, that. that make more sense? Yeah, but at the end of the day, though, but the respect the Latin, the respect the Grammy gets compared to the Latin Grammys too is there. But the Latin Grammys are for the Latinas. Latinas. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Even the Latinas need Latinos or whatever they call it. They need the Grammys. The they need the Grammys. Grammys too as well. So yeah, there's still that, you know, push up for, yeah, see, uh, for Afro- the Grammys. Don't back down from the fight. As in, don't why are off, we looking? No. Let's go straight. Yeah. We're going hard. Like that. Yeah, that's it. Like Bob yeah. Brisky, harder. Hard. <laughs> 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 
I didn't know that I see. No, bedroom I didn't know that I see. <laughs> you know, see, if you see the kind of things I watch on my Instagram, you man, watch Jesus too Christ. Much nah, no, but me too, man. I watch it. Bro, I want to get on that Expo page like this. And that's why I don't follow nobody. <laughs> <laughs> because following people, it will really limit you. It will get you in trouble, man. So yeah. what advice would you give to younger upcoming artists that are trying to create a name for themselves within the industry? Because obviously you just discussed how you came up from PH, literally struggling <laughs> fruits with your former landlord, mm-hmm. talking about how you went to Alaba, did your whole album. I've forgotten song. about a lot of things because I'm enjoying life right you, now. You're chilling right now, yeah, right? I'm but like, I'm a big, like, I'm a big, I'm a big you know man now. So. Be, but it's a different ball game right now. The, things are different. Yeah, things are different now. Only, it, social media. it has not, the, the only difference is like, it's better now. It's, be, it's better think, now. Do you, do you think it's easier now? Very easy. But don't you think anybody can blow now? Yeah. But well, it, and that so makes now, it, so the difficulty yeah. is with the saturation of, of the industry. Just internet now. Yeah. Internet. The internet. Yeah. The social media. So now, when you came out, I yeah. remember when you came out, it was, I was, um, geez, I, I, I think I was just getting to uni or, uh, you know, I was, or something. But I remember how, um, you know, at the time, songs had launch, uh, longevity. Yeah. So yeah. when you dropped, yeah. I could listen to I'm a Plantain Boy for three months. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. I could listen to Dem Mama for another three months. Now the competition is more. So now, what's happening right now is this. if you are lucky enough, you understand, you have a six-week run, then uh, then fans are just like, okay, you know what, what, what next? And again, I think it's not even the fans that put the pressure on the artists. The artists actually started these things by constantly, you know, feeding off, we need to put out a new song, we need to put out a new song. So right now, you, you put out a new song, Umbrella by Nas Boy. We don't even, like, it, it, it barely makes, we've stepped that's it down true. on our playlist. That's it true. was the biggest song in December. That's the, that's, let me tell you something, right? I still, it's, it still boils down to this artist and this people because they'll the, the force it and shove it down your throat. Okay. Anything that you, you, you fuss it and you just fuss it out. Okay. There are songs that you still listen to till today. If you ask yourself, oh, come on, I have, I have classic songs. Yeah. I'm not saying Nas Boy's song is not Yeah, it's not, it's good. not good, yeah. But you can, I'm saying like, like and I can't kill myself. Those are, yeah. come on, man. I know. And the one with Benson, you know, we, we you know, yeah, you've dropped cold like, outside. Yeah, it's always cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? So I'm not saying that those ones are not good, but yeah. there are songs that you are timeless. They are just they, they're yeah. gonna come and go. They're gonna come and go, yeah. You understand? Yeah. You can't compare those ones to those other normal songs. That's it. Yeah, because see I, Bugana. Buga is you can still, still Buga. yeah, it's still a classic. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, but what I'm just saying right now, it just almost seems like you know, people put out it, you know, a lot of songs. Because if you look at December with all the songs that came out, it's right nice. now in general, it almost seems like we the listeners the competition is high. Yes, we the listeners. The you know, you high. hear the song right now, and maybe I don't know if it's over consumption or if it's us being overstimulated by the music. You high. know, you listen to it and you're just like mm. You know, yeah, yeah you want you it's want something. It's definitely a little bit of everything. No matter, like right now, right? Let's see, I can tell you, no matter how good your song is, yeah. you still need money, uh, yeah, to push it. Mm-hmm. So, I think the real talent is dying because of people understand that oh, look, it's not about just the music. You need money to push the music, so yeah. they look for the money instead of the music. Okay, but then, come on. You can't compare the songs, man. Hunger, when hunger, they beat you. Mm-hmm. You're speaking your mind. Mm-hmm. Right now, a lot of artists, then they're under labels. We'll be saying they yeah. get song with them, songs with them believe in. Yeah. But the labels don't want them to put them out. Yeah. Because you think this is how it should go. Yeah. So when you direct creativity, mm-hmm. you think, you, you imagine, okay, let's, Kog Bagidi is my friend, right? Yeah. Imagine, say, Kog Bagidi and Potibu. Mm-hmm. That time, Potibu and Kog Bagidi work. Yeah. Then, Portable, they shout, say, ah, they won't brand me, they won't try to do like mm-hmm. this. Portable is already crazy. Portable is portable. Yeah. If you brand, if to say them brand them like that, would, would he have still been that guy? Will he, yeah, will he still be here? You know? I don't mm-hmm. know if yeah. you understand. So Absolutely. let people be there. Mm-hmm. I, I like that. I like yeah. that. Like, you know, he says something that, you know, makes a lot of sense, that like you can't direct creativity. No. Yeah. Once you try to put it, you can't box it. Mm-hmm. You understand? See, mm-hmm. look, okay, look at what the Biggie and Biggie and Puff, that the Biggie you movie. Know, back in the day, yeah. When you watch those movies, they even try to put the artist in a comfortable situation so he can deliver. Mm-hmm. That's what's going on with Bonner. You feel me? The artist does not need stress. Yeah. Let him be creative. But do you feel like the lack of stress also takes away from the music? Because 
a conversation that's happening online is that, you know, artists get to a comfortable place and then they lose that hunger. They lose that drive. And in turn, talent sort of is watered down. Or See, the content let me tell you down. something. That means you're not supposed to be an artist. And sometimes, most times, it's not even like they're watered down. They displace priorities. Take drugs and shit. Okay. Radio. Oh, radio. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Take... Okay, I'm not supposed to say drugs. No, no, you're supposed to say drugs with the ish. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it was send you a check. <laughs> you said drugs talk about Yeah, I You understand? So, yeah. most times it takes your time. It makes you feel... It's an illusion, you know? You understand? So, how have you, in your career, yeah. been able to refrain from that? Or rather, maintain... No, I'm not, I'm not a saint. I've, I've done drugs. <laughs> really? Yes. What? So, wait, when you say drugs, not the typical marijuana or stuff. No, come on, man. Okay. Yeah. So how bad you, for me. So how did you break out from that? It was a hell... It was a, it was a tough fight. I, 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 I appreciate your honesty right of now. Course. Because a lot of artists yeah. won't actually talk about this. No, come on. So, I'm so, talking about it because I want oh, the, the young, young guys, people to yeah. know. I lost a lot of weight. You can tell. That time. I thought you were going to the gym, bro. I was gymming, but I was <laughs> fucked up. I was next up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So, uh, so now, um, that's something I, um, you know, I, I meet a lot of artists every day. Yeah. And you go, the first thing they do is that they give you weed. And, and I'm like, oh, I don't no, smoke. I, weed, no, no, weed is not bad. I know, I know. And, and I'm like, oh, I don't smoke or anything. So my own thing right now is that you getting um, your foray into drugs, was it as a result of maybe getting introduced to it? Or you were like, oh, you know what? Yeah, let me, it was. Let me, let me oh, check it was. Even Listen, I've never, I've never had all, all this in all my life, like career and all that. Yeah. It was COVID, 2020. Everybody was home. Yeah, everyone was home. <laughs> and I just go, went to some just young guys. Yeah. Always this young guy. <laughs> 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 you understand? I yeah. went to their house and everybody was so happy. I'm like, yo, <laughs> what's going on? Happy. How are you guys so happier than me? I'm the boss. I got money. You yeah. know? <laughs> you don't have money. You know? You and uh, I'm looking at them like, ah, what did you guys, what were you guys on? Then it was just my weed. Yeah, and they told me they had Molly. I said Molly, yeah. <laughs> Molly. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> I've never seen that before. And they just brought it out. I just brah. When I took it, I've never. I, I didn't understand myself. Yeah. I was happy. The happiness. I dashed all the money in my pocket. So I wanted to just keep feeling like keep that. Feeling like that. Yeah. That was how I lost a lot of weight. <laughs> wow. I was not eating. I was just happy. Wow. But that got I found myself. Yeah, that's, you that's, know. I wish it, you know the people. That's why I tell I tell people about association before before you know, man, you're dragged into the wrong thing. I know, I know, I know. You know. But it's, it's a great powerful for you. message to yeah. take away there. And also. I'm happy that you know you figured that you know you were yeah. you were actually doing. People looking at me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they're like ah. I'm gonna <laughs> like I'm saying this. No, but it's the truth though. And yeah. you've come out the other side, and you've come out better. Yeah, so like, somebody better. can learn from this. Yeah, so that's dirt. You know. Yeah. Because to make you not to know yourself, that's yeah. not your right self. Yeah. That's not you. Mm-hmm. It's an illusion. I know. How you go just one day have you like, say, <laughs> you're supposed to be happy, first of all, naturally yeah, as a naturally, person. Yeah. That's supposed to come first. Mm-hmm. But when you now need something like a substance to make you happy, yeah. it replaces your original self. Yeah. So you have to be buying happiness. <laughs> You feel me? Yeah, I understand, man. And that's deep. I, I, I'm definitely sure that somebody see this and you know just pull no, themselves out sure. of the, you know, Absolutely. pull themselves out of the abyss. Sure. Because in in Lagos, for instance, we have um, not just the money epidemic, we have a crack epidemic too as well. My dear, and crack and let me is, tell you something. Crack yeah. is dangerous. Many, man. many, many, many. And you see, one thing I like, even the fans. Yeah. I, I, I need to, I need to even give a shout out to them. Yeah. Because you see, even that time they were telling me, "Baba, you're taking some things. Stop it." I'll be arguing. Yeah, people come to my DMs. Okay. Fans come to my DMs. Say, Yo, this is not the Chulo we know. This is not the Gary Papa we know. But I was able to look at those things and fight those things. I didn't mm-hmm. go to no rehab. Or what. When I'm saying I'm, I was taking Molly, it's not like, I was taking like three pills every day. Oh, okay. I can go addicted to it because, yeah, come on, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, it feels, it, feels, it feels like a medication. <laughs> Hmm. So I was just think, thinking that okay, this one not be, but it was fucking, it was messing me up. Yeah, yeah, it was really messing me up. So I need to ask you, what was the moment that you realized I need to stop this? I lost a lot of money. Okay, <laughs> I got kicked out from my jobs, contracts. I was doing on the side, you know, my people that I was doing business with didn't want to mess with me no more. Oh, of course, it was getting that. It was getting really bad. Wow. Yeah. You know. Well, you know, the it's- things I used to take as priority, I don't. You call me, I don't pick up your call. I just think it's okay. Mm. Like this time. 
like, ah, bro, we gotta do this, and you're just being unnecessarily happy, vibing, vibing, and they call it vibe. Mm. It's crazy, man. Well, you know, on the heels of this was one, uh, you know, after after COVID, after lockdown, was when you gave us, uh, you know, one of the, I think one of your greatest songs ever, Cold Outside, they, you had a different yeah. vibe to it. That was when I was working on myself. Yeah. You had Cold the, Outside. And because, and that's why I sang Cold Outside. Because it was Cold Outside. No. <laughs> because of what I saw when I went outside. Because I, I don't go outside. True. You're always the streets are cold. This, so when I went, that's the whole time I just go visit. Yeah. Then then give me that thing. And then I can't run back inside. Now because it's if you watch the video, right? <laughs> wow. If you watch if you watch Cold Outside video, right? The video of Cold Outside. Yeah. You see Molly. Oh, I didn't pay attention. Though. Pay attention. Yeah. If you watch yeah, yeah. Molly drunk. I have to infuse that. Okay. Wow. I'll go and watch the video again. Yeah, yeah, so there was a message behind yeah. Yes. There was there I'm was something you. about that song. It was something that stood out about that song. Uh, you know, so it's great to, you know, just hear everything you've been able to deal with. And, yeah. uh, I, I give you a lot of credit for you to be able to pull yourself by yourself without going to rehab. No, you know, you know funny enough, that time, <laughs> they said I should, I must go to rehab. I said, hell no, I'll put myself in. Mm. And I, I kept, I, I didn't go, like, I just traveled. Yeah. So I'm going to have some small change <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that I could help myself. So I could just yeah. travel, right. isolate people, don't, don't talk to nobody. If you check that time, I cut my hair off. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Took my dreads off, trying to find myself. Like it was, it was bad that I lost my immune system. Like my immune system was low. Mm. I almost died because I wasn't taking, I wasn't eating. Yeah, I wasn't sleeping. I was just vibing and happy, and you know, mm. for no reason. That's crazy. Well, That's you know crazy. what? We are happy to have you back. Yeah, yeah. We are yeah, happy man. to have yeah, you back you know. in your bag, yeah. making great music. music. Yeah. You're a day, you're a it's day. It's not about everything is, is okay. Like, no. my mind is... Yeah. Right. I don't... Great. I don't so you've just... been in history, um, I think, uh, close it's to 20 years now. Yeah, 19. 19, 19 right? 19. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm sure that you have a plan for, like, maybe like a 20-year on stage, like, you know, something. I'm not counting those things, man. Okay. So okay. what are the things that are important to you, though? Are uh, you not as a person? Exactly. I was that literally just about to ask. Yeah, because yeah, if you're not counting 20 years yes. in the music yeah. industry, so what are the things? So what are the things that, you know, you hold matters, important yeah. Yeah, to you? To be able to keep doing it. Yeah, okay. That's the major one. I'm not here to be counting years. Yeah. You can count years, bad years, yeah. added to those years <laughs> I just yeah. want to have fun yeah. that's the most important okay. thing yeah, so do, I, I hope for better days yeah. that's those are the most most important things for yeah. me yeah but as a father too though um, how I, people always say that you know when you become a parent it changes you it, it gives you that sense of responsibility and the fact that you're it no longer on the individual okay so has it changed you in any way we have dead beat dads now of course <laughs> True yeah. that. I I'm mean, it is what guy. it is. Yeah, what's well, true? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it depends on the individual. Okay. Yeah. You, but the, you, if you love something, you gotta protect it. Yeah. So I love my kids. Okay. So I, I gotta you. protect them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like being a father has changed the kind of music that you make? Hell no. If I, if being a father, I shouldn't be talking about me taking drugs here. Mm-hmm. True. It's the same thing I'll tell my kids. Yeah. I don't lie to them. We're living. <laughs> we're, we're living. <laughs> we're in the world living. So mm-hmm. I've, ha, they know I'm not married. But I got kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, they know I smoke, but I don't smoke in front of them. Okay. Right. It's just respecting them. Right. That's the most important thing. Okay. And we'll leave it. Yeah. Do you think you ever, you know, you find love again? Are you open find to love? That? I yeah. got love. I, I'm, I'm in love with I someone mean, right now. Oh, really? Yeah. How's that going though? Very well. Okay. How do you define love though? Because I was having a conversation with people. It's how you feel. How do really? You- <laughs> yeah. I, I want to yeah. say is the quality of the sacrifice is showing up and the quality of the sacrifices you make. It's, it's, but it's how you feel. How you feel, okay. Yeah. So because you know. Of you course. Know. Okay. You know what you love now. So I think Vivi's right there too. You yeah. and Vivi have the same No, idea. but it's the truth. Yeah, okay. I agree. Okay. Yeah, it's love. You just mm-hmm. know. You just know, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Simple. You know, but, but you have to know who to love. Okay. That's another angle. You were loving the wrong person. <laughs> Nobody's wrong. Okay, that's deep. some people can be wrong. It depends for because they don't love. No, yeah, they are not be right for you, for you, but they're not wrong either. Yeah, right. You feel me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like uh, myself, I don't have I don't have a problem with Nigerian girls or Nigerian men. Okay. If I'm a Nigerian girl, I will not date a Nigerian man. <laughs> I know that's like right. myself right now. I, I can't date a Nigerian right. girl. Okay. And I, okay, I so the woman that you're in love with, she's not Nigerian. Hell no. Okay, why don't you? Uh, why, is there a reason for that? The same foundation, the same upbringing, the relationship would be like 
police and thief. It's too toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Do you Don't understand? you think it breeds for better understanding? <laughs> it says police and thief. <laughs> police are, be it like reminds, that. You know? It reminds me of my brothers. We used to play, uh, you know, you guys that grew up abroad used to do cops and robbers. Yeah. So we used to call it police and thief. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be like, say, on a, the same thing. Yeah. We, we, we go the life for each other too much. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? You know, we even get pissed. Even when something not doing wrong, go the fine with You know, I hear you. And, you know, your reason is valid. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dunk on that or anything. So I'm gonna see you put out like a body of work, uh, you know, this year. Maybe like an EP or something. I'm dropping a novel. Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah. Are you working? Okay. Uh, it's ready. It's ready? Yeah. Any notes? I've been working. Co- I know Shaggy, Shaggy, the one with Shaggy's on that. No, it's not gonna be on the album. Okay, okay, cool. So are we any notable collaborations on the album? Oh, um, I, I don't want to spill it out. I want to, I want to, um, I, have you done a song with Burner before? Yes. Okay. But pull I'll, I'll pull up, yes. But I want to actually see you guys get in the studio together. Maybe you, Burner, Duncan Mighty, and Ajabo Hustlers. Ajabo Hustlers, I need to see Ajibo, that. Ajabo? I need to We see have that. a song, actually. Yeah. We you have know, songs. You know what? I, I said this the other day. It I was said, in my house two days ago. Oh, yeah. I said I there's that. something about artists that come from, from the PH. south. No, from the south of Nigeria. I think because of the struggle, the fact that they steal their resources, they pollute the environment, and, you know, the government has their boots on their necks. So there's something that... So it's always... You hear that struggle in their... I wish you hear that struggle in the music. I don't know. There's a certain type of hustle, I think, that, that comes that, out yeah. of artists. So like, I, Jebo, I'm making like, it out. I'm yeah, going back. I'm, li- I'm making it out. You, you know. It's the, I keep saying it's the originality. Are you okay? We are very... <laughs> we don't know... We, when I talk about Putako, okay, mm-hmm. I just laugh because... Well, like, what we what we do over there, we don't even know how to gossip. You just say it as it is. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yo. Like, when I came to Lagos at first, mm-hmm. I was always having problems with people. Yeah. Because they didn't understand me. It's, it's too blunt. It's too yeah. Blunt. Even my fellow artists, they look at me. Every time they come to me, they feel like, ah, with the apple now, leave me a big. But... I'm not, I'm not joking. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. You understand me? Yeah, like, if, you. if you're with Bona, you think he's angry. No. It's not, no. That's, is, uh, yeah, when Bona we're is. talking, we would laugh. Yeah. Well, most times when we're together, we're talking. Yeah. Steph, Steph London always laughs. <laughs> She'll be like, what are you guys saying? Because you can't understand one thing. Yeah. And I remember like, he was doing a Vice interview. And after a while, he just stood up. And was like, oh, man, I'm bored, man. <laughs> of course. And everybody was just like, oh, why did he say that? And I'm like, he's bored. Bro, <laughs> you know, because they're not, if I'm not having fun in this interview, I'll stand up. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll, like I'll do the know, same. Yeah. And if you notice, I, I, I remember, if you remember there was an Omaomi interview as well mm-hmm. when when she just went off on the interviewer. Yeah. Oh, and he, oh yeah. So Potako people, nah, just no, they are like, yeah. I'm serious. Who? South South people. Do you yeah. know when I came to Lagos first, right? When I, when I blew up. <laughs> when the when when I go somewhere, people call me Timaya, Timaya. The way these people shout your name, I will just turn and say, What? Why did they call my name like that? What's happened? <laughs> That's Potako. <laughs> But no, you be angry. I forgot that I'm yeah, a star that's supposed to call me, <laughs> call you know. Name, yeah. I start working on myself on a lot of things. <laughs> Timaya, Timaya, I, I would just stop saying, ah. Why are you shouting? Even when I'm driving, when they follow me, those days, I will come down from my car. Why are they pushing my boot? What's happening now? <laughs> you know? But it's a normal thing. Yeah. yeah. I got to understand that because back home, we don't see that. I know, mm. I know. I remember one time we saw, uh, it was Best Buy. Yeah. Uh, Ramsey Noah came to Potaka so some guys he was at uh, our mm-hmm. tree. <laughs> some guys were sitting by the side they were trying to gossip yes I said no be Ramsey be that <laughs> <laughs> they, were goss- they were gossiping right but he was hearing them <laughs> say no be say mm, he ain't no complete too <laughs> 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 uh-uh. the guy not even fresh like that really fresh uh-uh. no. and they were talking and this guy I said there. these people are just I crazy I love, I love it. it you yeah. understand but I not mean, like if, and that's why Wiki is the way he is. Of course. <laughs> it's, the, it's, yeah. it's the upbringing. It's the yeah. foundation. Yeah, it's, it's there. Uh, mm-hmm. my, my, like my son, the other day, my the teacher called me from school and told me, he, they were teaching, he just got up and stood them and he's tired. <laughs> oh, see, I'm tired, man. <laughs> me too, I'm tired. You feel me? Yeah. I was like, no way. I got to talk to him on the phone like, yo, <laughs> go back into the classroom. <laughs> You understand? Mm-hmm. I love to raise my children in that realness to be able to speak up for themselves. But Potaka Zone is too much. I know. <laughs> it's what? On another love yeah. it. So any release dates yet for the album? I'm looking at April. 
Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, cool. I, 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 um, a Q2, yeah, yeah, that's a that's a very nice time to actually mm-hmm. just post. Right really? before summer, yeah. yeah. Is that Q2? Yeah, Q2. Yeah. Uh, no, Q1 actually. Q1 is January, February, March. Q1 April. ends by March. That's second quarter, right? Yeah, second, yeah, second just the beginning, the April, beginning, but that's what you call it. Of Q2. 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 Now, wow. We should more learn now. So we're dropping in Q2. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Either way, it's always great to have uh, you know people that keep it real because yeah. the industry has changed. I was talking, I was talking to someone the other day. I was, I, I was like, I remember 2011, 2012, 2013, Sway Bar back in the day where you know it was just a handful of artists. And people, you know, you run into an artist in the club and it's it's love, you understand? Then with the more money that came into the industry, you know, with the more international labels that came, you don't even know what it is anymore. You're, you, you get what I'm saying? So it's almost like that camaraderie. It was easy I, you to know, get... You know when people say... Say these things. Yeah. Say it was love. It has never been love. <laughs> so what do you think it was? It's another angle. Yeah, come on, man. I don't think... Like myself, we're doing the same thing. It's not everybody that's like me. Okay. You feel me? The, the heart I have, another person can be competitive and I mean, just be one guy that can be like, okay, this thing, you can do it like this. But the guy, the other guy might not feel the way your own did. The other guy if he did compete to you even as a friend. Mm-hmm. Mm. So not to, not to talk about somebody that you guys are doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. So when people complain about this industry, people, oh, come on, man. It's already that way in an industry. It's mm-hmm. the industry. Mm-hmm. So you can't change it. I hear you. Yes. Um, so, uh, you and Idris, are you guys still good? Are you guys good? He will always be my boss. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But we're not good. Like, we don't talk. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Because I, I Not hear, like we're quarreling. Yeah. But here it was sick, you know. I hope you reached oh, out. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't hear that. Yeah, it was, it was down. Yeah. yeah that, but whatever but I think it is. it's fine now. So, yeah, I think it's better Because I saw a picture of mm-hmm. him and... Um, 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 Possible. Oh, okay, yeah, I think it's better. You know, I love possible. I know, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I'm kind of wondering what's, you know, because when you first came in here, uh, you, you alluded to the fact that, you know, you learned a whole lot by being a, a member of his band. You know, you gave him that credit. Yeah, yeah, you gave him that credit and everything. So, I'm wondering, you know, what would cause the fact that, you know, you guys are not as chummy as you, you, you're you supposed because to be. Because we were not as close as we were supposed to be close when, we were, when I was working for him. Okay. You understand, okay. like... You know, this thing's there, they call relationship. Yeah. You can know somebody, but you don't know the person. Mm-hmm. I don't think Idris ever even knew my first name. Oh, okay. He just calls me by boy. Wow, okay. Like, whenever they have a show, I just know, and I, I buy my, my bus tickets to that place. Mm-hmm. So they never ever, the in the crew that time, it was like I was underrated. Not yeah. even underrated. Um, I will use it. I was a new cat coming coming on board, so oh, I yeah. had to walk my way in. Yeah. But the people that were there already there, so I just had to learn and get out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He never paid me one day. Okay, for was, three years. Yeah, I was look. I was not working for him for for the money. Okay. Because I loved him. Mm-hmm. Look, I loved the, the fact that it, Idris was a real. I know. Uh uh-uh. uh. I know. That time with Idris. It just was that guy that Nikki, went. Sun Splash. What? When we go to Gramo Beach that Grumble time, Beach, yeah. as today you stand like this, you tell before you before yeah. we get there, you tell everybody, don't smile to nobody, don't shake nobody. So imagine all the artists being backstage. Him is on is at one corner. He knows how to call attention. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Let me let me blow your mind now. Um, do you know where Gramo Beach is? No. When you get to the end of when you get to Ikota. Yeah. yeah. Just before you get to Eco Atlantic. Yeah. By the left, where you have those two buildings. Yeah. Now. Okay, yeah. So, so, there was Karamo, a beach there? yes. So, Karamo Beach was, was a cesspool of prostitution, <laughs> drugs, every, because I used to live in 1004. I used to, yeah, I grew up there. So, all the way at the end of the road. So anything that you wanted that was evil was Karamo Beach. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yes, it was just there. Yeah. Karamo literally. Beach. Ah. Literally. So, just after Bar Beach, Bar Beach was. That's when, yeah. when he was, Karamo, he, he's the one that always closes the show. Yeah. So before it just comes on stage, all the artists be like, I'm in the go because he was scapped at that mm. place. So I learned a lot from him. Mm. Even stage performance, how to he make sure that his entrance is great, the middle is good, mm-hmm. and the exit. the exit is fire. Yeah. So yeah. I, I got to learn that, okay. it, which was bigger than money. I know. Yeah. And that's something that I think a lot of new artists should take away from this interview. If there's anything that you take away is that, listen, if Tamari can pay his dues, you should be able to do that I paid too. a lot. That's been one of the dues. Oh, you know, the dues I've, and I'm great. still paying. I know. 
We saw your show in Bielsa, you know, um, last year. That was great, you know, just going back home and having so many people actually just come out for you. So I would, I'd love to see maybe this year, maybe take it to a stadium. And I don't know if no, you No, this year we'll do the stadium. Yeah, so I... I so no, yeah. the reason why we didn't do the stadium the last time, you know, the stadium had, they were constructed doing some construction, construction and all okay, that. yeah. So they don't really give out a stadium. Like that, so yeah. Yeah, but you guys should do a stadium. Yeah, yeah we're doing you know, it. Yeah. It we're was great it. to see so many people come out. Yeah, and, was, yeah. That's not the first one, that's the second one. Yeah, really. How, how did that make you feel, though? Oh, very special. I, I know. Kind of, at some point, I was crying. Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh. When I saw Portable on stage, you know why? Because when I wanted to bring Portable, a lot of people were telling me, why, why are you carrying Portable out? Yeah. Is this... I was like, are you crazy? You don't know who... Part of, like yeah. everybody watches pop, you know what? Even the people that disrespects that guy, mm -hmm. they watch it. They still watch it. He makes them. them happy. Yeah, he does. He does. Just, this you understand? Video. This whole video, he had a comment about the garbage like yesterday. It's this whole video. See, I've yeah. never seen such an original person. Him and yeah. Speed Dalentin. Oh, yeah. All those people. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Vico! Uh, no, Vico, no. <laughs> I'm not a Vico. That's why you draw the line. <laughs> No, I draw, I, I'm not line. for everybody. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying it yeah. goes bad either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. yeah. possible, yeah. like your guys. <laughs> it's all good though. Either ways, uh, so we're running out of time. This has been, I think, one of the very the most fun interview um, that we've had all year. I think, uh, <laughs> for oh, really? sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. yeah, yeah. There are, you know, there's some the artists that come in. They're like. coming and, you know, they're always holding back. But, you know, you've laid it bare. It's there's nothing been, to hold back. I know. What am I holding back? Nobody's feeding me. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm still feeding myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, see, right now, it's about humanity, man. Mm -hmm. Whatever I'm doing, if it's not going to help the next person, I don't think I want to do it. Yeah. You feel me? And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm myself, better me. Right. So even talking about those stuff, I'm not trying to even trend. I don't need to. It's yeah. not going to do nothing for me. I'm talking about those things because I want people to learn to from To learn this from them, yeah. And stop it. I hear you. That's 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 fantastic. So, Deo, De, who produced the song? Mastercraft. Oh, yeah. Well, Mastercraft makes amazing, amazing music. Of course. It makes amazing music. Yes. Yeah. So, um, on the rating of my favorite producers in Nigeria, uh, there's Dr. Fraps, God, God rest his soul. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, there's Mastercraft too as well. The Mastercraft is way up there. No, but Master, 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 to me, I think he's the baddest. Yeah. Because he, he also know, actually knows how to play an instrument. So Mastercraft is a master. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's not just a name, man. Eh? Yeah. He's a, He's a master. master of his craft. Okay. Absolutely. So we're looking forward to the album. Does he have a name? Gladiator. Okay. Gladiator. Oh, nice. Okay, looking forward to that. Coming out in cute soon. No, no, don't call it Gladiator. Gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> Gladiator. Because if you come out, it, uh, you will be like, see, you throw it, it apart. It apart. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this. And also, don't forget to check out all the other content on the other shows on the Beat 99.9 .9 FM.